and I'm still get attack me if you're young, a church and I'm a nightmare. If me and you don't agree, me and you now nah have no sex. You don't want no bad man, me need a bad man. The baby, come on. Boy! All right! Hey! 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 This is Dottie Bear and welcome to another top 10 social media countdown. So let's get right into it. The dirty yeah, the berry, yeah, the juicy yeah, the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them soak me out. What happened now the week? Yo, just tune in, scene. Number 10, Auntie Shen Yang, me pile along, pile along. Oh, geez, I'm, I need to, I need to stop it. Anyway, burritos. So, uh, according to Luke Jamaica, Shen Sia has bought uh, a piece of property, piece of land for her manager, Ramesh Entertainment. Now, let me go and read you the article. So they're saying that just weeks after Shensia gifted her team a brand new Rolex watches, the alpha artist has ampled things up even more by buying Ramesh Major land in the corporate area. Now, Ramesh shared the news on his Instagram page on Thursday, telling his 1 million followers that he now owns the land adjacent to the Ramesh Entertainment headquarters on Campbell's Boulevard in Kingston. Now, he showed off the property in a short video in which he expressed his gratitude to Shensia for the best gift ever. People, we go live good man. Born to born and grow your pain. All time for a good camera for you, man. I don't know if you're going to buy a camera. I'm going to buy a And this, I'm a dream to have this account for the main. So I own the lane to the main. I'm just going to pick up the shins here because she buy this to give me. See that? You see that, people? One Sheng Yang. I love you. Thank you so much. See, that's where we do good. Now, yeah, man, round of applause. Round of applause for Miss Sheng Yang. One thing about Shen Sia, she's always said that she's very loyal to the persons who rock and support with her and we see it in how she deals with her team. I'm sure Ramesh, boy, Ramesh, Ramesh, yeah, get back here. Yeah, get back return for money, right? They're saying, because land is not cheap. And for her to do that so you can expand your business and the empire, it is really a, a noble thing of her so continued blessings shensia continued blessings Ramesh and but yes my readers let me know what you think about this you, you, you like the gesture you have to like the gesture because no one can't stand i don't like them type of blessings here oh no they're really wicked for i've not around for say about this either way sound off below Number nine, new home, me NHT, burritos. Oh gosh. So recently on Twitter, a, a young man by the name of Sauce Boss posted this picture with the caption, blessed to be a new home owner. Now, burritos, would you believe it that um, there were a lot of people jumping on this post to just give hateful comments? Yes, sir. A lot of persons were, of course, you know, supporting and rooting the brother on for this major accomplishment. But, you see, after this post went viral and reached all over the world into American um, Twitter, my, 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 me tell you, the crab in a barrel, the one bag of carelessness, all sort of negative comments entered the chat. This is crazy. Because to me, it come like, say, a lot of people in America feel like, say, America is the entire universe, is the whole world, and that there aren't other countries and, 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 and different ways how, how, how people operate and set up houses and live, you know? And so some of the comments we're talking about, it basically look like they did they, the house of Muriel and something that they did they, they, they live in a, in a courage to cowardly dog. Other people are saying of ghosts in there, what kind of... Um, African poverty stricken places this the comments were it was ruthless and um I was just like wow this brother is just you know having this accomplishment and this is something that most of them people here who in the comments probably still live in a rent house still live with them family all kind of things but yet still they found the need to jump in with all of this hate but 
one of the best things about it is that you know you have a little bit of balance and so people were there that were you know defending him in the comments and really um applauding him for this major milestone that he has achieved now buried us i'd love to hear your thoughts on this situation what would you say to those americans and other people who had something negative to say about this jamaican young man's accomplishment sound off in the comments right now because yeah we need to, we need to make them know what time it is <laughs> All right, so hold on and let me share. So April is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, but don't just take my word for it. Listen to what Dr. Michael Abrahams has to say. Ladies, this is a public service announcement. Have no fear, do your pop smear. For you know one of crosses, take you down there. Now the way this your test your set up and design is to pick up early warning sign before any cancer start to appear. And if you get treatment, then you don't care. So check yourself before you wreck yourself love and big up and respect yourself make sure that you go take yourself we do your pop smear if you protect yourself a message brought to you by the ministry of health and wellness thank you doctor and for more information on cervical cancer awareness month in jamaica go ahead and visit the website okay take care and back to the countdown Number eight, mask man, me COVID-19. Okay, burrito. So recently, as in like during the Easter festivities, when everybody did take up themselves and I run gaff off, I was just like, no, I need a little break. Let me just go to my bay just for go. You know, I just want to experience life, little drive out, you know, live and get in that good quality oxygen. Zin, so on my way to Montego Bay, I did feel like hungry, so I decided to let me just make a little stop in one of the town town them and come in like a good cook food spot. I love a local cook food spot where you know, say, them put in extra love and passion into the making of the food so i did feel for little you know like i can not selfish like fried dumpling so i see me, me, me i pass the area now i say a brother i say the brother i look trustworthy like me can go to him and ask him a question and, and he can point me in the right direction um and things took a turn take a listen all right so i just which part of there i know now what you do over there oh my god discovery discovery bay yeah i'm just try to find one good cook shop one good cook shop yeah i'm gonna ask all the brother your name a singer them called so. Singer? Because yeah. you sing? Them so, them so You must can give me a little something right there so I am here man Alright, ready? I wanna say Girl, I imagine You in my cabin Oh, love make me Alright Tenders burning Yeah man No man, you can't just stop saying I forgive you peace more Peace more, another song What's Another song Another song. Yeah, yeah. All right. That one I You are my lady, my number one baby. Why are you acting so crazy? Yeah. No, if no but no maybe, you should be driving my Mercedes, not driving me crazy. Yeah. And then remember you the last time I went me got to jail for the last crime. Yeah. yeah. Your visit help for pastime. Yeah. A love like this it just can't find. You are my lady, my number one lady. Why are you acting so crazy? Yeah. No, if no but no maybe, you should be driving my Mercedes and not driving me crazy. Wait. Oh, no. How far sang that? My song. Are you a song that? Yeah, man. No. Yeah. No, wait, what is your name? Where right full name people can't find you? Aiden Mitchell. Aiden Mitchell. Yeah. All right, my boss. So right here, so me there, DB. All right, Discovery B. Boss, man. All right, all right, cool. Yeah. Which part you have going to go now? Right, it's right here, so. Yeah, yeah. They sell nice pastry things if you want. Beer kings and them. Things. But like, I can't say so want food, breakfast yeah, man, food. Yeah, we have a can't say so some nice dumplings. Okay, so right we over in the store. So. The fried dumplings, but. All right, bless. So check them out. Yeah, man, all right, please. Mr. Berry, I yeah, man. respect our man. Uh. <laughs> No man, no man, rising stars need this brother right now. This is the voice. Yeah man, them can run in too. As well as maybe me flip on the mass singer with film. You know, thing I cough up in film. <laughs> I had no idea that like he won what would have been a singer and also that he would have actually sound good. Because you know, sometimes people have some nickname where it just kind of, you know, in a really, yeah, 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 you know what I mean, I say? Get him a producer, link him with anybody who can link him with. Hopefully next time when I'm in Discover Bay, I can um you know link with the brother and possibly do a video for your for you guys. But me just know say my linkage is them no no in a little music era there. So if anyone can help out this brother, 
pleased to do so. Okay, big up yourself and it was nice meeting your boss. Now give me go to Easter bun early, you know. Yeah, man. You, you see that? Come back to everybody and you get tired. You want to eat it, you're your crib, sir. Jesus Christ, man. No, 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 thanks, sir. Number seven, Destiny Message, my church of God. Okay, so uh, former dancehall artist Destiny Sparta, she is now into the Christendom and she is sharing her, her messages of how Jesus has uh, brought her through the many storms of life. Me used to do my little video then when I sit down on my veranda and I try to uplift and strengthen people in Christ. I mean, know a lot of people wonder how I just stop so. Well, let me tell you. It come in like Satan opened the gates of hell and sent every demon where I have for me. I've never encountered warfare on this level. I lock up in my room for weeks and cry until I hear a voice say, where is your faith? Let me tell you something. You see, when you have God in your thing name strength, in your thing name peace, and in your thing name patience. So you see, no matter what you go through, just bring it to God because he's the ultimate deliverer. God. Them try now. Because Satan mad can can't get that girl. Can't get me. I will never go back to my vomit. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Okay, Destiny. I mean, I really appreciate her for sharing her message because she's always been very vocal on social media. And the fact that she's now, you know, a, a Christian, she is not letting up. Even doing, um, you know, remixes to very popular instrumentals. <laughs> But yeah man destiny thanks for sharing and and also just you know talking about the journey and the, and, and the challenges that you have been facing go on for press along as well as that the song say yeah press along saying press along yeah man go on press along and do your thing bless all right, so Burritos, right now, I forgot to tell you about a brand new song called Social Distance by a rising artist by the name of Ajani. Still far from people, no good, none of them know me, no. No, the single currently has over 143,000 views on YouTube, you know, and deservedly so. You do, you can't say, you can't try, but you can't stop, man, from win. Yes, sir, the song Bad Like Inmate Resume. <laughs> All of we where I watch this right now have dealt with a fake person, a fake friend, somebody who don't mean we good. So this song is for them people there. Sometimes when you hear some new things, it's like you just have to cross your finger and say, please make the content actually be of quality. And this is a fit. Real everything, stop, make long time. Yeah, man, people, so please to go and check out the music video. It is Social Distance by the artist Ajani, produced by Adaba. Adaba Entertainment. Yeah, man, go and go check it out right here, so and follow the artist on him social media. Yes, so okay. Number six, Nino Talks. Me, Biblioteca. My, oh, yes, a library, a library that? Okay, I think, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why my Spanish really I get rusty? Anywho, so I saw this video on I think it was Instagram, and in the video there, there <laughs> you had you had a, a young boy. It seems as if he has a Trinidad accent, but you know, says not Jamaican. This this is some Caribbean country, and he was giving a story of how to um, how ladies can get their men to you know fuck out the cash when they need it. Take a listen. Hey ladies, if your man don't give you money, let me tell you what for do. You fry some. At Pulori with some sour mango sour. You get a cooler. You make some ice cream and some cool down. Then you go straight in the workplace. Then put out the sand and start sell. <laughs> you see how fast he gonna give you the money. <laughs> Yo, why them pity stay so? Why, why, why them pity stay so? Why do they know so much? The brother said basically, if I go set up a little lemonade stand right in front time workplace so you can bring down crowd and excitement on him. <laughs> 
Maridos, let me know what has been the most interesting thing that your child, um, interesting and hilarious thing that your child has said to you randomly. Number five, mommy sprints, Michelle and Fraser. Okay, so Veridos, hopefully you know about these two dynamic sisters. This, this sprinting duo, the Tia and Tina sisters, the Clayton sisters, they have been storming up the tracks in the 100 meter for several years. But this is the person who brought them into the world, their mother, ah, Mrs. 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 Pinock. She is very vibrant and overly anxious and excited when she is watching her children um, star up the show on the track. Take a look. Yeah man, that Amada. That Amada, the adrenaline is running through her bones while she is watching her kids. I can't tell me so she not live vicariously through them. Maybe in a fair life she was a sprinter herself. Wanna see how she scale the wall? Look how mommy run. Yeah man, that is in other genes, in other DNA. Them get that from out of all of the yam dashin and and do I want to say cassava? Or is it plantain? Is plantain good for running? Hmm. Would plantain be for running? I don't know. Something about plantain. Plantain doesn't look like it makes it fast at all. Because all you want to do is slow down your more. But Baridas, let me know. Is there a particular gift or skill you feel as if you got from your mother? Sound off below. Number four, Jamil's journey. Me gungo. All right, people. So, re, uh, j, what, what do I want to say? Dancehall artist, reggae artist, conscious artist. Jamil recently um, shared in an interview that he was under a lot of um, spiritual attacks from his, 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 a lot of his counterparts in the industry. Basically, he alleges that they were trying to get him out. Them put things in my food. Somebody close to me put a fox me. I tell you, no, I'm not going to call the name. You know. But people put things in my food for try and mash me up. You are, you are being poisoned. Poison. People are close to me, poison me. How do you pass, know? How do you know you are being poisoned? I pass out them for pass out things when I'm in a human being. I pass out that. What then would it, the motivation have been to do something like that to you? Greatness. And what you know, no? you have people who have things, you know, and no one see you have things, you know, and that, that just mess up. So I'm going back now to the point where you're about to become baptized. Were you going through a spiritual crisis at that point? Yo, me, I run up and down like a headless chicken. I got a doctor for my stomach. Them give me a pill, me I take pill for months. I stay so bomb now, we got a revivalist church. That no work neither. We stay so bomb now. Where else we go? Psychiatrist. I take too much pill that now I can't sleep. When you say pills, you were on antidepressants? Yeah, we take that, we take pills for gastric, we take all kind of pills. Yes, so the Fix did an interview with him recently and he shared um, about that entire spiritual journey and what he had to do. But he never take it completely. So I'm um, going to link up with the high priest from up above the hill. Mm -hmm. I was going to the wilderness for about seven days. Oh. Literally. So, literally, seven days up in the hills. And you don't know. <laughs> what do I have got to do with you? You don't know. Yeah, okay. make you tell the story. Right? You are going to man. You are going to man. The yeah. great man is what man. What yeah. my talk, yo, Jaja, my talk about this. Um, I think I think your fans would, would definitely want to hear this story and this journey that you're on. Is yeah, it? but I'm back to my roots because I don't did dip on the path. I yeah. don't did know where I stuff. Mm. But people not believe in a spiritual warfare, but even at the same Bible we read till I say you're not to flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get me. Boy, oh boy, you know, this is just quite a revelation because recent times, it's, it's, it's not, not, not new. We've seen Spice talk about it. We've heard rumblings that there are a lot of um, spirits and negativity. And Lady Sa spoke about it. Maka Diamond has touched on it as well as to the whole practice of obia and a lot of um, craftiness that, that, that takes place 
in the industry. So maybe there is some truth to it, but hopefully, you know, let's just like uh, um, applaud whatever was able to get him out of that space and bring him back to the music that he enjoys so much. Right about now, it's time for the Big Up segment. Well done. Before the girls them sexy and Round up. Sing along. Well then. Big up everyone. All right, so on the Big Up segment, I have to go and Big Up Team uh, Jamaica for representing at the Carifta Games. There are so many stellar performances, but my favorite has to be the record breaking four by one relay and also by readers there are some content creators that have achieved some major milestones so i have to go and big up yadman eaton on his tiktok video receiving over 10 million views on the platform mm -hmm. and also uh keeping that same energy going we have to go and big up basilia on her video as well uh amassing over 1 million views in 24 hours wow congrats also want to go big up lolly and krista on the release of the bing bong music video now the song has been burning up tiktok and all over the place and so it's nice to have the visuals for it bang bing, bang, bing. come on for your little song sing, song, sing. Bro, Number three, Casino Goes Diamond. Okay, Beridos, I know I said diamond, but we're not talking the diamond like when it's on Billboard that have big hit number one song. I'm talking about the, a diamond as a sort of review. All right, so our viral boss, Mr. Superman himself, Casino, who is known for this song. Baby, come on. Recently went viral again after a very private intimate video film got released on social media with him consuming um some chocho. Go downtown and eat it like a vulture. Yeah man, so the video started making the rounds on social media and you cannot see the young lady's face, but um you can see that she was, you know, she was groomed and thing and um casino was, you know, down there having a conversation. And I guess the girl asked him how it tastes. I guess maybe they were doing a spoof of the policeman's ice cream video. And he said it, you know, this is the diamond vagina. Aww. You forget the diamonds over here, you can't get them. Like, hey. Um, but, you know, what was a video? The guy was just doing his thing and he recently, he took to social media to update the public and address it and share that that was his, 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 his actual partner, his, his woman. Um, and I like one like a Kirby Kirby Outer Road, this is his personal woman. And they were just, you know, having a little festive moment. You know, them go up on Snapchat and record it and accidentally posted it on social media. Now, at first I was thinking, say, yo, maybe him just drop this so that people can be buzzing his name again because, yo, people will do a lot of things for little clout and attention. But he's saying that it isn't so, so we don't have no choice but to believe the brother. Yeah. Bradley, run back his song. Yo, you want to Viral. Viral, today. And at this point in time in 2022, it still baffles me like, is this a bit like, is this like, oh, uh, you know, there's an artist who ate vagina. Ooh, this is so spectacular. I never thought that these things happen in life. Wow, come on, people. Like, majority of Jamaicans have been watching blues or going to find for how long? I want to see some things. I want to see some things. So I, I still cannot fathom how these type of things, it's still like a, a big, you know, like news story. Beyond the look at excitement, we're just like, oh, you know, I feel like right now people are supposed to be looking at things like, boy, that did lame or that did good, you know? <laughs> But that's just me. But my readers, let me know what was your reaction when you found out um, that Casino's video had um, surfaced. Sound off below. Number two, D D. The so recently social media personality D official took to social media to share that she had a, a, a domestic situation with her husband, right? And apparently, what she's alleging is that he came from a party. He wanted to engage in sexual activity with her. It was she she denied it and things got physical thereafter. Lord Jesus. Top is showing how hot the lit. I'll embrace this papa. See the 
So you see, after she did that and shared all of that on social media, you know the woman them come for just support her and rally around her because a lot of women and a lot of people here have been in very violent relationships. And so when them jump in now for try to rally around her, they posted another video basically telling them to kind of stand back because uh, she knew her man. They must call the police, get some help for me. See? Because the thing is, Jelani have anger issues. Jelani been have anger issues from long before me and Jelani married. Jelani has been trying to change. He has been trying to change. Me never tell no life on him. But, you see, when him get angry, all right, you see, if Jelani got road, got drink, and Jelani come back, and me said to Jelani, say, listen, me nah have no sex or whatever, a fight. And I'm saying me nah have no sex, a fight. Because men feel like, say, you yeah, them for vex. You yeah, them must vex. And they must go come in through them junk. Only if you have sex. From my point of view, it does not work like that. If me and you don't agree, me, I was locked into the room. In my bang down the room while I come in at the room. So make the video. And I say, I need help. Call the police. Do something for it. I did not get up and post the video. And I have Instagram. I have YouTube. Me a blood clad TikTok. First and foremost, dummies. Come and know some man big and blood clad dumb. Me have more bomba clad followers than Ivan upon YouTube. Me have more followers than Ivan upon blood clad Instagram. Me have more followers than Ivan upon all of me TikTok them. But because that bitch don't like me, because we are not friends, because she wants to have a story to run with, she run gang and post. That's it. She run gang and post because what she are trying to make it look like me and her in the same category, bitch. We are not. We are not. We are not in the same category. Your man did beat you because your pussy big ass stink. My man beat me because he want fuck when I don't want it. There's a difference. No, me not tell nobody say a man and a woman a fight is right. I'm not telling anybody that. But only need to understand the relationship, a relationship, and everybody come with different characteristics. Okay, um, I mean, not very surprising, but okay. And um, her husband, who is usually very silent, like he, I guess, managed to, you know, do a video on, on social media and to attempt to clear his name. You know, God there, sir, and God in the midst of everything, right? People quick for judge, people quick for run with false news and say, yeah, 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 yeah. Me had this and me had that. But it's a funny, like, the first thing you ever hear about me is something negative. And that's the first thing you know what everybody has jump for say, oh, me a woman beat, and me a abuse, and me a this and me a that. Who oh, know me know my history, right? I know, say, me I come from a wild part to a calm team path. Zane, my married, my circle long, I try to live a good life by the grace of God. I love my woman to death. You see me? I do anything to protect my woman and make sure she's she alright because I watch her. She been there, she been all in the struggle, you see me? I get to me and say, no matter what I go through, she did it for me. Likewise, me to her. No matter what she got to me, I always did it for her. You see me? However, I don't know if the season or what, but the Easter, I don't know why it moves so grimy, but you know, by the grace of God, I hope everything work out well. You see me? My woman know me and know say, I don't know an abuser or I don't know a woman beater as well as the whole on the drunk or everyone that say. So, me and my woman, we go through things, everybody go through them, everybody go through them for the relationship. Zin so uh, we can go through all I want to. Um, okay, so that, that, that entire um, ordeal is a lot to, 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 to think about. And it's very unfortunate, but like, I don't want to go into much in a detail and talk about the people them, and stuff like that. But let me just look at the general, general issue. Um, Jamaica in Jamaica we normalize a lot of toxic relationships whether it be between um, parent and child um, husband and wife boyfriend and girlfriend politicians and the, the the citizens a lot of toxic relationships exist here and um, the sad thing is that it is so much normalized you have a woman who feels as if um, 
if a man doesn't consider her as um, his property, then she isn't loved. There are a lot of women who they are used to a very compatible relationship because they like an idea of, yeah, man, a man can't humble me. So when them size up, somebody can humble them. But oftentimes that humbling is meaning, say, a little, you know, a little, oh, right, yes, a little, a little, you know, a little scratch up, scratch up. That is what they, they, they feel as if, you know, that's a man and that's somebody who's been powerful and somebody who's going to keep them safe. But what they tend to forget is that that same energy that is directed towards all sort of people. At some point in time, you know, if you rank yourself, that energy is going to be directed to you and you might not have all of the, 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 the capabilities to, to, to safeguard yourself. Also, um, when people have invested years into a relationship, for them, when they look at the bigger picture, they might say, yo, I'm married, I have family, I have all of this structure. And really and truly is that the, 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 the physical stuff only happens at 30% of the time. So they'll be holding on to the, the highlight reel of, of, of their interaction and trying to downplay, disregard and forget the, the, the how impactful that, um, that trauma is. Because that's how they cope. That's how they cope. You want them to leave from that so they can step into something new, the unknown, when they have built a life attached to somebody. And most of the times it's that they feel that like they're, the, they're, 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 they're the persons, the man, um, only safe space. They feel as if, if me jump out of the picture, he won't have anybody. And that is just the reality right now. And I never even plan for, for go into these things, but I hate hear it. I hate hear a situation where a woman jumps on social media and don't plays the, 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 the whole, um, how affected she is by a situation. You get me? Because when the men come on social media, they will be very vague. They won't really try to mention the word. They will just say, hey, you know, I just saw them something. Ago. You know, man, I'm going to butt heads. There are a lot of persons who butt heads and have disagreements and it's never physical. You get me? You can be a man and you can protect your woman and you can be upset resort, resort, resorting to violence. And I think that is something that you have to own. And if you're a guy and you have crossed the line and do so, own up what you do. Just say, hey, I should not have hit. Don't try to make it so like, boy, you know, we should really have a little moment. No, say me not supposed to hit her. Say it out of your mouth. Out of your mouth, I should not have done that, right? And then he asks for forgiveness, and if she chooses to forgive, you know, who do a little thing because a, 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 a people relationship, them can make up however they, however they choose to do so. But to, to the women out there who 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 watching, just be careful about the people they're gonna choose in their life. And also to the people who you know you have one of them WWE relationships here now and then, just keep people out of it. You don't need to come to social media, don't come to the public, don't call the police. Keep it in a little WWE thing because if you're going to embrace that type of toxicity, just know so when the negativity comes along with it that you just you, know, you just deal with it by your own. Don't call nobody, no call no Susan, no call no Auntie Dan, and no bring down a crowd if you know that two days later you're gonna cuss off the same people them who did that try to get your help. That's all I'm saying. But at this point. Be safe out, 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 out there because we, we all have been in some crazy situations. Maridos, let me know what you have to say about this matter. Sound off below. Ah, Energy God let you know that you're watching Dutty Berry social media countdown. Oh, na na ye e ah, come be a big mama. Oh, na na ye e ah. Dutty Berry social media countdown. Shizzle. Kaboom. Yep. And number one goes to. Uniformed prayer. <laughs> my word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheca. So number one goes to uniformed prayer. No, where was I when I saw this video? I saw this video on Instagram. Uh, I think a friend of mine sent it to me. And when I watched, I was just in tears. Take a look. God, calm down. You're in the sky. Wait, let me pray again. God, please calm down. This boy said my shoes is ugly and I need... I need, I need very disrespectful. <coughs> we just come and box, and shut a box in our face and kick him. Shut up in our face. You hear me, God? Okay, that's a very important word. Amen. You saw your shoes ugly? <laughs> <laughs> and wait, it does not stop there. He continued. <laughs> come on. God, you said that again. We just come down. You're taking a long time. Close my van door. Just close my van door. 
Try it out. God, you said you tired of me. <laughs> so please come on to big son, big son, and mash him up, mash him down to the ground and kick him. And and kick him head, please. Thank Close you. my van door. Close my van door. <laughs> Now Mary does this shell, 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 shell. Somebody give this, give the, give, give the, give this little youth to Oscar. Give him an award right now because that, no man, if Jesus not answer for him, well, but might not want Jesus to answer for him praying because I'm the kind of one the person get licked with a rock stone. But at the end of the day, like he did not use any expletives, so that has to be commended. And he, in his own way, is already developing and establishing a relationship with God. So he's taking all his wrath and all his um, all his anger to the Lord Himself in prayer. So I hate men for that. I hate men for that. <laughs> but Marinos, what has been the most trivial or silly thing that you yourself have prayed for? Sound off below. Well, that's it, Marinos. We've come to the end of another social media top ten countdown if you enjoyed it please to hit the thumbs up button turn on the post notification don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what was your favorite part of the countdown as well as to share the video with your friends and family and make sure say so you subscribe subscribe right now if you haven't done so also you can follow me on my social media at the bear show on facebook instagram twitter snapchat tiktok all over all over right here so and if you want to advertise within the countdown send me an email right here okay right here Mm -hmm. Take care until next time. <laughs> the dusty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop. All the things are going on and missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, empower all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them. Suck me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in. Scene.